In the meantime, keep an eye on Pete Buttigieg. He is, of course, uh, the, the former mayor now who is uh, slated to take over the transportation department. Uh, but he raised a number of interesting ideas in his confirmation hearings yesterday, including how to pay for all of this. Take a look. Highway Trust Fund is, doesn't have enough funding or it's going insolvent. Would, would you support uh, gas tax increases? And if so, how much? So I think all options need to be on the table. As you know, the, the gas tax has not been increased since 1993, and it's never been pegged to inflation. And that's one of the reasons why the current state of the Highway Trust Fund is that there's more going out than coming in. All right. Um, uh, later on, an aide uh, to uh, Mr. Buttigieg that said, uh, you know, he, he, he was not talking about a policy change, no imminent uh, hike, but for example, in, in the gas tax, or for that matter, the carbon tax, both of which has been bandied about to pay for a lot of the infrastructure work that uh, Buttigieg had, had teased. John Bussey, the Wall Street Journal associate editor, Fox contributor with us now. John, I think he held out the possibility that could happen, but if you think of a gas tax now in this age of more and more people moving to electric vehicles, um, it, it, it might not raise the dough that some, some think, but, but to pay for infrastructure, to pay for some of these climate change initiatives, you're gonna have to get it from somewhere. I wonder where. Yeah, you are. That aide tried to walk it back, but he clearly said, look, a gas tax is on the table. Pegging the gas tax to inflation is on the table. Now, why is that? Uh, as he pointed out, the gas tax has not been raised since 1993. You have a $43 billion highway fund that's meant to repair and expand our highway system, our transportation system. And, you know, whenever you're on the road, you can see that that's not happening. Uh, bridges and roads yeah. need a lot of work, and the money's not there. And the idea of a gas tax increase, Neil, has been out there for you know a long time, since 1993. And neither party wants to do that. Why? Because it's regressive. It's the person who is commuting an hour to a $10 an hour uh, job is going to pay the same amount of tax as somebody who's being driven there by a chauffeur for an hour to a $2 million uh, uh, a year job. So, you know, how do you do this politically that's acceptable? And he's basically said, look, it's going to become inevitable, as you just pointed out. More and more electrified cars means that those people aren't paying any gas tax, which means that the $43 billion trust fund isn't being funded and hasn't been for years. The, the Congress has been plugging that hole for years. You know, and John, if you think about it, whatever happens at the federal level, states have not been shy, whether under Republican or Democratic governors, to raising, um, you know, their gas taxes in places like Indiana. Uh, even when Chris Christie was running New Jersey, he raised the gas tax and to the point it is now. So states have been doing it, even if the federal government has not. But that money obviously does not make its way to the highway and all these other related funds. It, it makes its way back to, to those states, and they're not exactly... Uh, stellar examples of fiscal, uh, you know, propriety. But I'm wondering where all of this goes, because it just sounds like everyday costs, and this is one of them, are going to go up, uh, you know, regressive or not. And this is one area where everybody seems to agree. The Democrats and Republicans get along on this issue. Everybody agrees that infrastructure needs to be built out in the United States. Absolutely. Nobody's willing to do it because they're spending money elsewhere. Uh, you had a 3.1 trillion dollar budget deficit for the year that ended October 30. That's a record. Uh, and you're about to expand that with all of this COVID spending that's necessary. That's absolutely critical at this point. So are you really going to be able to have an ambitious infrastructure program? Two trillion dollars is what uh, Biden has been talking about. He's going to announce something next month. I think that Buttigieg is right. All options are on the table because at a certain point, you have to address this issue. He's talking even about, well, maybe there would be some kind of a fee for miles driven. If you use the roads a lot, you're going to pay more than the person who doesn't use right. them. That's going to be controversial. Yeah, no matter how you slice it, it's, it's certainly going to be that. John Bussey, great catching up with you, my friend. Stay safe. Help you in the new year. John Bussey of The Wall Street Journal. We're lucky to have him as a regular contributor here.